Here you go. Here's that four euro coffee you just ordered. Thanks. Actually, you know what? It's pretty hot out. Could I also get a glass of water to go with that? Oh no, sorry. We don't have any water. You can order a bottle though. You don't have any water? No. I'm just really thirsty and I wanted to sip the on water something. here. Okay, I no water. Okay, uh. Hey, I'm Emily and I'm an American living in the Netherlands. This is a video about the things that most confused me when I first moved here a few years ago. As you just saw, the Dutch do not have a habit of giving you water when you go into a restaurant. At the very most, you can expect to get a very tiny little glass of water if you ask for it with just enough liquid in it to barely re-moisten your parched lips and mouth so that you can use them to order a paid drink. Honestly, this really annoyed me when I first came here because I thought like, isn't being able to rehydrate yourself and get water sort of a basic human right? And I thought the Netherlands was kind of better at basic human rights in America, but... Uh... Ah, the cheek kiss greeting. Hello. Hey. intro to Dutch class they actually taught us that you always do three kisses on the cheek because that is the standard Dutch greeting which is not true because sometimes it's two kisses. This may not seem like that big of a difference but I assure you there is actually a very delicate little choreography that goes on when you're doing these cheek kisses and if one of you thinks that you're doing two and the other one thinks that you're doing three that's how you get accidents like kissing someone on the mouth or the nose or the eyeball which has happened to me. <laughs> Bicycles and cyclists are everywhere here, and even though you see them all over and you intellectually understand that they're there, I realized how deeply programmed my American pedestrian behavior is because in the first few months I was here, I had several close calls where I almost walked into oncoming bicycle traffic because I wanted to cross the street and I was only paying attention to the cars, and I was saved at the very last second by a cyclist informing me of my mistake, politely or not so politely. But most often my boyfriend would just have to do that blocking arm move to stop me from walking into the bicycle lane. After a few months, I got totally adjusted to this. And now I am always aware of what's going on in the bicycle lanes. And I definitely always check before crossing. And let me tell you to this day, nothing makes me feel more Dutch than when an American friend comes to visit and then I'm the one doing the blocking arm move for them. <laughs> Weet je wat? Ik voel me eigenlijk zo Nederlands. Ik ga dit outro in het Nederlands doen, dus... Ja, dat was het voor vandaag, jongens. En uh, tot de volgende keer.